Allison Rivers Sampson. You may know me from Allison's Gourmet and my e-cookbook, Comfortably Yum. My friends call me the maven of mmm, and today I'm going to show you one reason why. I'd like to share with you how to make your own Brazil nut milk. It's economical and tastes so delicious when you do it yourself. So I like to soak my Brazil nuts overnight. You don't have to, it just makes them blend a little bit more easily. And the ratio that I like to use for a rich cream that's good for coffee or tea or used in recipes like my bolognese sauce recipe is one part of Brazil nuts to three parts of water. And what you do is put that in the blender. This is a high speed blender I like to use and blend it for one to two minutes. After that, it looks like this. You can use a standard blender, just go for about two to four minutes. And with Brazil nut milk, you're gonna have a little bit of pulp in there. And so the way you know it's done, there's still a little bit of grit, but do you see how fine that is? That's what you want. That will make it very creamy. So then I use a nut milk bag. This is very fine material that we strain the nut milk in. And pouring that through over a strainer and a wide mouthed container will make it very easy. And then you squeeze. This is really, really fun and a great thing to get the kids to help with. Our daughter Olivia loves to make her own nut milk. She feels very empowered. So exciting. So then we have nut milk pulp. So this is just like flour. You can use it like half a cup, replace half a cup of flour in any recipe with your nut milk. You can also use it in raw food recipes. It's a really great way to add a nice texture to your recipes. Also, Brazil nuts have a lot of silica in them, which is great for hair, skin, and nails. So watch this creaminess. Brazil nuts have the highest fat content of all nuts, and we want that for our very creamy milk. Hang on just a minute. I need to be with this. Oh, you have got to try this. It is so incredible. So, I also want to tell you, you can use this same technique to make your own almond milk, your own hazelnut milk, even coconut milk. Cans are great and the refrigerated kind is fine, but making it yourself, nothing compares. And what you do is that same exact ratio, one to three or one to four, strain it in your nut milk bag, squeeze, and you're done. And that freshness, mm, nothing compares. If you use cashews, now that is an extra secret. You ready? No need for straining. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you tons of play and joy as you enter into your kitchen.